Okay, so some of my kits come with uh, different shaped beads, and I do the uh, lampwork connectors a little different with these. This is a set of beads from Karen Haroza. Sorry if I butchered that name, I don't know, but these uh, little lampwork beads are nice and small. So I like to put them inside of the starburst washers, so that's what I'm going to show today. So the first thing to do is measure off about six inches of, this is 24 gauge wire, I think, 20, let me see, 22, 22 gauge wire, okay? And normally I use, these are step nose pliers. I'll show you the end. These, uh, the tips, get, these are for making bales, so your loops, if you make more than one loop, are the same size. So they range from very small to pretty big on, the, oh, on this end here. So I was going to use the very smallest on here, but I'm guessing that a lot of people getting these kits won't have those. So I'm going to do this with a little tiny screwdriver. Now anything with a, um, you know, the diameter that you want that doesn't have a flared edge will work for this. So what I'm going to do is wrap around this little screwdriver twice at the middle of the wire. Okay, so that's around twice and it's very far apart, so I'm going to use my flat nose pliers to squish that together. So now I have two loops that are the same size, and I'm going to take one end, it doesn't matter which end, and wrap it around that other wire. And again, my loops are not very close together, so I'm going to use my flat nose plier to bring that close together. Okay, so that is one end of the connector. Now what I'm going to do is put just one of the wires through this uh, starburst and I'm going to pinch the wires so they're close together. So I'm pinching those together. You can see how that looks. So one wire is on either side of that starburst washer. We got one wire on this side, one wire on this side. Now I'm going to feed the spacer beads onto the ends of the wires. And I like to alternate colors, so since this is a um, silver washer, I'm going to use the brass first. Then I'm going to put on a silver, and I'm threading these onto both wires at the same time. Or at least I'm trying. Hmm hole in the silver is not big enough. Okay, we're going to skip that. Put on the bead and another brass spacer. I did these with uh, a thinner wire before and it worked just fine. But this is a slightly thicker wire. I didn't like, the, it, it didn't look strong enough to me with the 22 gauge wire, so I'm doing 24. Now I'm pushing these down, and it's going to be easier to push if these are squished really close together. So I'm pinching them with my flat nose plier so you can see how close together they are there. Now the beads will squish all the way down. I don't know why this one's being stubborn. Okay, see how they're in the middle of the washer now? Now I want to take one of these wires, I'll take the shorter one, and I'm just going to kind of bend it around in a curl. See how I've got a big loop coming out here, and I'm just rolling that back so I can get to a point where the whole wire will go to the other side of the washer. There we have it. Now I'm going to use my flat nose plier to straighten that out a little bit. That's good. I want the wires to cross 
directly across the, the um, starburst washer like that. And I want to take one of the wires around the other once. Actually, no, I don't. What I want to do is keep those straight. And now I'm going to put my double loop on this side by just going around once the plier. Or, I mean, on the little screwdriver thing, whatever you have to make that uh, loop. Now, I went around more than once, and the reason why I did that was I needed to roll this down to a point where it was um, about the same spacing as down here. So now I'm going to undo this part, because I really only wanted that loop. And now I'm going to take these wires and go around the stem one time. And then trim with the flush cutters. So that is with the um, 24 gauge wire. It's a little stronger than the 22 gauge. I'm putting the uh, screwdriver back in there because it wound up being twisted the wrong direction. So I'm just adjusting this th so that both the loops point the same direction and they're relatively straight this way. So that's the starburst connector. Uh, the other thing that's different is that, you know, the shape of the big bead is a little different. And on this, I'm just putting uh, the little dotty end caps on the end and a spacer or two on the end before I do the loops. Otherwise, it's the same as the other part of the video. So that's that. Thanks.